in order to calculate the carrier concentration that means we are our aim is to find n not and p not in different materials that is in intrinsic as well as extrinsic semiconductors so our aim is to calculate the values of n not and p not what we have so far is the probability of finding electron in a particular energy level but this information is not enough to calculate the carrier concentration what we have is the probability we also need to know the density of energy states so we need both this information to calculate the carrier concentration that means we have the probability of finding an electron in an available state and we also need the density of states in that particular available range so we know that we use f of e to denote probability so the density of states in the energy range let's say de let's say density of states in the energy range de we use the notation n of e into de that means the density of states in the range in the energy range de now we have our energy band diagram let's mark our conduction band edge and valence band edge along with our fermi level now the number of electrons per unit volume in the energy range de in the energy range de is the product of these two that's that is the product of probability and the density of states in the energy range de so this is the number of electrons per unit volume so this is the number of electrons per unit volume in the energy range de so let's say this is our energy range de this small portion this is the energy range we are considering as let's say this is our de now in order to find the total electron concentration in the conduction band what we need to do is we need to integrate from this edge to infinity so we have the integral because we assume that the conduction band extends from ec that is the lower conduction band edge to infinity so ec to infinity we just need to integrate what we have found that is the probability into density of states that is n of e d now before doing this integration let's see the properties of f of e now the density of states n of e that is the density of states n of e is proportional to e power 1 by 2 so this quantity n of e increases with energy so this increases with energy but we know that the probability f of e decreases rapidly as we look at higher energy levels in the conduction band that the probability value almost dies out at higher energy levels the effect is that we have one quantity which is increasing and another quantity which is decreasing and we are taking the product of these two but the f of e term dominates and we can say that the result of this product the product of these two decreases rapidly as energy increases so we use that property to simply say that this integral is equal to nc into f of e we assume that nc we represent all the distributed electron states so all these distributed electron states at an effective density of states at the conduction band edge so all these distributed electron states we represented it by an effective density of states at the conduction band edge so nc is the effective density of states so we have found n not equal to nc into f of e that is simply the probability multiplied by the effective density of states in the conduction band edge so we have calculated the carrier concentration as the product of effective density of states and the probability of finding electron at the conduction band edge so this is the probability f of ec is the probability of finding electron at ec that is the conduction band edge and nc is the effective density of states now we know the expression of f of e so we will substitute ec there so f of e is 1 by 1 plus e power e minus ef by kt since we have multiplied with f of ec we have to write ec so we are looking for the probability at the conduction band edge ec so we got nc into 1 by 1 plus e power ec minus ef by kt so here we have our ec here we have our ef this is our ev 
Now we can see that in this expression, EC minus EF is simply this distance. This is our EC minus EF. Now if EC minus EF is greater than say at least 3 times KT or around. So if this is compared large compared to 3 times KT, we can say that the exponent term dominates this one. So we can find it out. So if this is the case, then this term, the term here will be e power e power 3 or more. So, so we can neglect this one compared to the exponential term. So we can write it as nc into, so we have 1 by e power ec minus ef by kt. Bring this exponential to top, we will get the expression for n0 that is n0 equal to that is the equilibrium concentration of electrons in the conduction band equal to effective density of states at the conduction band edge nc into e power minus ec minus ef by kt. Now this expression of to find the carrier concentration we have nc that is effective density of states we will see the expression for nc a bit later and we can see that the carrier concentration depends upon the energy difference ec minus ef and it is also dependent on the temperature. Now one thing I want to mention here is that the temperature dependence of N0 is not direct because this Nc that is the effective density of states is also a function of temperature. So we will discuss about the temperature dependence of N0 in a later video. So all you need to remember is that N0 equal to Nc into F of Ec. This you can remember. Now this Nc that is the effective density of states is equal to 2 into 2 pi mn star kt by h square the whole power 3 by 2. So this is the expression for Nc where mn star is the effective mass of electron, k is the Boltzmann constant and h is the Planck's constant. T is the absolute temperature in Kelvin. So we have mentioned about effective mass. In the point of view of gate exam, this expression is uh, more than enough to solve the questions. You may not be needing this equation, but it's still good to know.